Today, we're sneaker shopping for shoes that don't come out for months and got our hands on them early. We go to the most giant mall in Beverly Hills sneaker shopping. We go to a top secret sneaker store that sells ice cream inside of it of all kinds. And we go to the biggest Nike store in the world, three stories tall. First stop of the day, Untied LA. I wanna show you guys something really, really special that they got inside. We're in West Hollywood, we're in Beverly Hills, and we're gonna get on some heat today. Back at Untied, you guys already know, man, that with the clean white floors in here, we got some heat to show you guys, unreleased Air Jordan 1's Royal. Now, a lot of people are saying these are like the reimagined, and the first thing that I'm getting off of these guys is they are so soft, bros. Like, they are insanely soft right here. So these actually are unreleased. I was thinking about buying them for myself. They're actually in a size 10. So I'm really tempted to pick these up today. And honestly, guys, like, I didn't think I was gonna like them whenever I saw, like, the pictures of them coming out. But in person, they are just, like, buttered. Like, they are so soft. The suede is insane insanely soft it's crazy i feel like these will really really pop with any outfit that you throw on them and i don't think it's gonna have like that bad crease like the uh leather ones did but the other unreleased sneaker which i think is absolutely crazy is these flea markets like what in the world i feel like you almost have to be like an nba player like stunting about to start the game to pull this off because there is no way that I could just wear this every day or that you guys could wear this to school. I have no idea. It is super creative. There's like a whole foot on the bottom. This is like on the verge of like kind of being like mischief. Like mischief does crazy stuff and I feel like this is absolutely crazy. And they are actually the ones that came out with these too. So if you can imagine where they're getting the inspiration from, these are, these have gotta be like the ugliest shoe of all time. But if you wanna make a statement and you wanna be loud, you gotta go with these shoes for sure, dude. Like, honestly, I can't even imagine wearing these to, like, school or something. Spilling something on these would just ruin the fur on them. It's like having a little dog with you at all times. Tiffany and Co's, you guys already know, absolute banger. Just wanted to pick these up real quick to show you guys the rope laces, the premium feel, absolute heat. We got some Jordan 2s over here, black and red. Ooh, with the little kind of Gucci colors, honestly. Kind of Gucci colors, pretty sick. We got the Dior's in here. I need a pair of designer shoes because I have only been rocking sneakers, so this would be a really cool sneaker to wear. It kind of looks like a Converse, but they are the Dior's. Really nice design right there. And then on this side, we got some more unreleased heat for you guys. We got the Blue Dunks, the Royal Blue Dunks, pretty sick. The Kobe's, yes sir, you already know, Reverse Grinch. These are absolutely sick, dude. Like, these are so fire. I just miss the days when people would just like wear these to just on a daily. Like when I was in school, people would just wear basketball shoes on, is a lifestyle shoe. And this shoe pops out so much. I don't know, maybe one day I'll have to get a cop in these. The J Balvin's, okay. This sneaker, I this is no, this is not even like a, maybe I want them. This is like, I need these. The threes guys have been the number one shoe I've been wearing all year long because they are so comfortable. And they go, like you can literally wear these with shorts, with pants, with sweats. Uh, and it's such a simple shoe, but the fact that it's J Balvin collab, I have to grab myself a pair as a Latino. You guys already know, premium materials, the leather on here is super soft. And if you guys have seen my other episodes, you guys know I've been trying to buy this for a while. I just placed an order with Untied, so they'll be coming in pretty soon, and I'll have to grab myself a pair of these. Sick dunks, you guys already know. Dunks, more Tiffany's, and unreleased heat again. We got the satin Air Jordan ones right here. Now, these are a girl sneaker, but honestly, they're just so hot. I, it, it just doesn't even matter at that point. You know what I mean? Look at the way that it, this is like a luxury shoe. You know, this would be a great shoe to wear like on the red carpet, in a suit, to a wedding, something like that. And the other ones were selling like crazy. I honestly feel bad for the people that bought these when they originally came out because now everybody's gonna have these and the old ones are not worth as much anymore. But this is just such a sick shoe. I don't know, I might have to have it for my collection. This is crazy. I think that I, this is like a shoe that you kind of need just on the daily kind of thing. These right here, guys, I honestly did not know what they were when they came out. 
they are Fat Joe sneaker. And the really, the really cool thing that I like about this is because the number one shoe this year has been the Panda Dunks, okay? And this sneaker right here is like an Air Force One in the Panda colorway, and it's a premium. There's like leather on the inside. I think I might have to cash out on these today right here at Untied. This is just too much of a good shoe. The two shoes that I've been on lately this year, guys, Air Force Ones and Jordan 3s, and this sneaker, to me, you can really wear it with anything. And that's what I like about it, Terror Squad. And I've seen every single celebrity posting with these. And these are so viral right now. And they're so cool. And they go with anything. And they're premium. I think I gotta grab myself a pair. The only thing is they only have a 10. They do not have a 10 and a half. So I might have to just squeeze a little bit. We're gonna try. You guys already know college sneakers, Magic Johnson. But for the most part, these three sneakers are the ones that I wanted to show you guys today. All unreleased heat from Untied. I don't know if I'm gonna be buying uh, unreleased shoe today. I should, honestly, but I got something saved for you guys in the next scene. I think I'm gonna, between these two, which ones would you buy? Let me know down in the comments down below. But I think today, I'm gonna have to walk away with a pair of these. If they fit me in a 10, I'm gonna try them on right now. We'll see if they fit, and if they do, I'm gonna cop them. Here they are, Terror Squad box right here. Opening it up, very nice paper. Okay, and there they are in my size right here, size 10. I'm gonna try these on guys and see if they fit. I like them because I really do like the pandas. I just don't like dunks. And this is like a panda Air Force One right here. So sick, let's try it on. All right boys, here we go. Trying them on, see if they fit. Ooh, they actually fit really nice. My toes like right here. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see myself in, what do you think? You think they're great. Good? You like them? Yeah. Let me see them in the mirror. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. First cop of the day, boys, at Untied. We did buy the Air Force Ones. Now, let's go cop some more sneakers for this sneaker vlog. Okay, so Beth's in the shower, but I did end up winning the raffle on the sneakers app, guys. And she has no idea, but I got her size in these right here. Unreleased shoes. It was a surprise drop on the Nike sneakers app. And I'm about to surprise her with these when she comes out. You could tell she really, really wanted them whenever we were at Untied. And she's going to be so happy when she finds out that I got her these shoes for retail. Dude, in her size, I cannot wait to surprise her. Banger of a shoe. So when she comes out of the shower, we're going to surprise her with these. Mama, do you know why you're here? No. I have a surprise for you. Okay. I know we were just at Untied. And you really, really like those Saturn Jordan ones. Mm -hmm. So, I got you a little something. For real? The crazy part about it is that I did not buy those from Untied. I actually. What is this? It's a little baggie for them. What it the comes heck? with it, I think. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. We can put our groceries in there. What? Super what dope. Groceries? Super dope. Okay. Open it up. See what it is. No way. Yes, ma'am. All for you. Ooh. In your size and everything. Comes with extra laces. The most premium. These are so nice. Okay, I really wanted these. Sneaker of the and year, I maybe. Took an L. And I got them from the Nike app, but I didn't get them in my size. I got them in your size. So, you're welcome. I love them. I Thank love you. you. I'm glad you enjoy them. They don't go with my fit, but I'm definitely going to wear these soon. What are you rocking today? I'm rocking the Mokas. Let's go. Very nice. Glad you enjoy them, love. I love them, thank you. Now we are going to one of the biggest malls I've ever seen in my life, the Beverly Hills Center. This thing is absolutely massive. Put four Walmarts together and you get the Beverly Center all the way from here to all the way over there and it goes all the way back as well, Legit Nation. We are gonna be sneaker shopping in here today, looking for the kicks. Look at how massive this thing is. I am not over exaggerating when I say this is one of the biggest malls, if not the biggest mall in America. This is absolutely crazy and bougie for the rich people. Look at that Beverly Center, here we come. Went to the stores and here we go up the luxurious, bougie, rich elevator. We're not in Texas anymore, boys. We're in Beverly Hills. Look at how big, white, clean, and futuristic this place is. It's insane. You can literally see all the hills from here. 
right over here we got our first sneaker store in this mall and possible kicks they're all over the US and I think it's one of the only sneaker stores here in L in uh, the Beverly Center one of the only high B stores okay they got the Halloween decor super fire as soon as we walk in, got a dope display. Okay, I think they got, okay, I see what this is. I see exactly what this is. This is so sick. It's like a Halloween display of all the Halloween kicks. That is so sick, dude. The orange dunks for Halloween? Okay, okay, your boy might have to bust out the orange dunks. The spooky Jordan 4s. Okay, I get some I get some spooky vibes from here. That's crazy, bro. This is such a good idea. Whoever thought of this, this is such a good idea. It's all the Halloween-themed kicks. I feel like these are really Halloween, too. The SBs, very, very Halloween vibes in here. So sick, dude. That is awesome. They got the all the netting everywhere, all the webs. Okay, okay, the new balances. Boys, I've been saying for a while that I need to get into New Balances because I think they are so fire, dude. I think it's like just like one of the perfect kicks to rock. Just very simple. And then when Jack Harlow put them on, you know your boy had to rock with it. I mean, they are like have that old school look, but they're not that expensive either. 180 right here for these. And it's a pretty dope kick. Uh, I also have been looking for a new fog hoodie dude i feel like the fits of these hoodies are like the best fits i've ever had um i've been wanting like a black one so if they do have a black one in my size i might have to just cop but i don't think they have any black hoodies the colorway on this stuff is sick i should come out some with some merch like this color it'd be pretty sick yo let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see clothing as well in these vlogs because uh i'm into it let me know if you guys are into it oh my gosh and then coming into the sneaker display one of the dopest displays out of any store this is just like a kid in a candy store it's crazy dude the way that they like line up the colors and stuff is just so sick but we're looking for myself today these are dope i've been wanting these for a while like the panda ones they can go with anything i honestly thought this was going to be like the hottest sneaker to ever ever drop because this was around the time that people were into the pandas and they were into Jordan once so I thought this was gonna be the hottest kicks and then uh I guess it wasn't so I don't know what happened I guess people didn't like the toe box or something I have no idea I think they're fire though or the girl shoes over here maybe I'll surprise Beth with some kicks these are one of my favorite shoes that I got recently boys the uh, fragment threes honestly threes have been my sneaker this year threes and Air Force ones like I said uh, but Beth isn't really a fan of threes honestly I don't know what she's a fan of though I feel like she's just a hype beast because I really don't think she's into fours either like if I would surprise her with some fours I think she just likes Travis and stuff I don't know I have no idea actually the chrome in the gallery in here looking sick looking sick with that like distressed look that vintage look in here the gallery department if y'all guys don't know about gallery department it's a brand out of la super popping right now i love it super dope we got some more stuff up here it looks like but what am i gonna cop today if i cop something from here what am i gonna cop today i got the lost and founds spider-man's i'm not really into those i feel like they'd be hard to wear with stuff 400 bucks but i feel like this would be really hard to like rock with things i don't know to me spider-man is just more of like a this is more of like a younger kid's shoe, you know? Like, I'm already 25. If I were the Spider-Mans, I feel like it'd be kind of weird. Maybe to like Comic-Con or something, but I don't know about on the daily. I did pick up these. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. My boy gave me these. I own these, but I barely wore them. Palominos I got coming in. I got something special for y'all next week. I got them in from a brand. Huh. What about these? I don't have these. These are fire too. The SB sneaker of the year, like a couple years, like a couple back. The cool thing I love about collabs, or the cool thing I like about this one, is these are so much more comfortable than the regular Jordan 4 because they're like meant to skate in or whatever. So, 750 though, man, the price went up on these big time. Um, I think everybody just loved these. They definitely got to come out with more colorways though, because I feel like the green, it shouldn't be as hype as it is, like for a green sneaker, but because it was an SB collab, that's why it's hype. But if they came out with a blue or a red one, to be absolute fire i've been i've been wanting the unions boys for some time i have no pairs of unions out of all my sneakers i have absolutely no pair of unions uh but this one i feel like this was a miss dude i don't know like the baseball on there like i don't know bro 375 not bad but i just couldn't rock this it's just kind of a weird maybe if you're into baseball maybe maybe this was a salute to like when michael 
Jordan was in baseball, but I couldn't do it, boys. What do y'all think down below? Could y'all rock these or no? I feel like you get clowned on these in school. All right, so we got the heat wall over here. This, of course, it has to be in the case because this is just too much heat. The Supremes, I've been wanting those for a while. Those are super dope, but I was talking to my guy. I don't know. Dunks are kind of flat-footed. Your boy needs some height, you know? I don't know, but this new drop would be dope to get. Tiffany's are on my radar 100%. Travis, that's a freaking go at you. All the Travis right here. I feel like I should have all the Travis by now. I have the fours. I don't. I never picked up these. Those are something that I really, really. Want. I don't have any of these, honestly. I just have the other ones, the brown ones, and then the off whites, of course, up here. I don't have any of the lots, which I feel like I should. I need to get my sneaker game up for sure. Literally, the only shoes I have in here, I think. I'm trying to fit. I'm trying to look. So Beth got. I got these for Beth. I think the only shoes, I used to have those diamond ones. I used to have those diamond ones. I bought them from another YouTuber. That's a diamond supply collab that they did a long time ago. Um, I used to have them, but I never wore them because it was hard to wear with stuff. But I think the only shoes that I have in here right now, I also used to have those fours in there in the back. Um, but the only ones I have right now, interestingly enough, are the blue Jordan 4 Travis Scott's. Because half my collection is at home, and I actually brought those to LA with me. So, but let's see what else they have in this candy store, boys. They got a lot of stuff, so I definitely think I'm going to have to cop something in here. Ooh, look at these. These are beautiful, bro. The purple dunks, $440. Look at the purple on that, though. It just absolutely pops. That is so sick. The blue, like a Charlotte Hornet kind of vibe on this one. That's sick. That is so sick. Dunks on dunks on dunks on dunks over here for all y'all's little girlfriends back at home. These, I know Beth wanted these. I actually, I, I honestly took an L on these because, boys, I ordered these from uh, StockX for a video and I, I wanted to give Beth these uh, after the video and I bought them in a size that was too uh, high. So, you know what? I might have to buy her these today. That's not bad. 325. What size is she though? Because these are a nine and a half. Beth's like a four, boys. Beth is like the tiniest size of all time. Six and a half looks like the smallest size on these, dude. Beth is literally like a little kid size. No light, short Latinas. Boys, we got the fire jackets in here. Every NBA team. Yo, that's sick. That's sick. It's a little too loud for me, though. I don't think I'd be able to pull it off, but these are pretty sick. Then in the back over here, okay, we got the secret area over here. This is the secret area. Don't tell anybody I told you about this, but we got all the Yeezers sitting back here. Man, guys, when these shoes came out, these right here, I, oh no, not these. They were like, they were like white creams, kind of like this though. But when the white Yeezys first came out, I wore these every single day for like a whole year. It was crazy. They got so black. And then when these came out, I was so excited because I had got myself a pair of these. I took a trip to Mexico and I got them stained immediately on my cruise. And I was so mad. You guys have no idea how mad I was. These, when I first got these, these came out at first and I ordered them from StockX. I unboxed them and I looked at the colorway and I hated them, so I sent them back to StockX. I literally sent them back. Or no, I think I got them, I forgot where I got them, but I sent them back. I don't know how I sent them back, but I sent them back. Foam runners, I wore these during COVID, like, for like a year straight. This is like the most comfortable shoe. But the moment that I, that I wore it outside in public, bro, I was like, what do I have on my feet? Like, I cannot wear this in public. This is so weird. But I mean, hey, if you're wearing it to middle school, you're trying to, you know, stand out. You're trying to be loud. This is definitely your shoe right here. Some of the colors they've been coming out with, though, I don't know. I don't know anymore, man. I don't know. This is crazy. This is more like art right here. This is wearing like art on your feet. I'm more of like the simple color. So I got like a pair of the tans back at home. But then I saw, I, I don't I don't think they made a big deal about these. I don't think anybody really made a big deal about these. But I saw these drop and I thought they were crazy. Like spider shoes. Okay. Spider shoes coming out hot in here. But yeah, man. All the These will always be, to me, a legendary shoe. When these shoes came out, boys, like... I thought it was going to be impossible to get these. Like, I thought I would, I would never have enough money to get Yeezys because this was the first version, the Pirate Blacks and the Turtle Doves. And then the rest are like the second version that Kanye came out with. But when these came out, they were selling for like crazy, crazy, crazy prices. I remember the first time I saw these, I was like, I will never even be able to touch one of these. Now they're only selling for $550. But back in the day, guys, when I was like, you know, younger, I think I was like in high school and stuff. 
these things were literally selling for like thousands and thousands of dollars. It was crazy. I never thought I would be able to afford it, but glory to God, you know. So yeah, Yeezy section back here. We got the dunks back here. I'm gonna do one final sweep around the shop and then I'm gonna make my decision, see what I'm gonna go with today. They got a lot of heat in the clothing though. I know I do like clothing, but y'all let me know. What do y'all think of the, what do y'all think? Should I get some clothing? But they opened up the case for me, which was super cool. Guys, I need these. I feel like I need these so bad. I gotta see what's my size. You got it in the 10 and a half. Yeah, yeah, 10 and a half. Okay, lots, the, those specifically? Or just some pair? Those are kind of big. Those specifically in a 10 and a half? Actually, I think I need to start wearing my shoes in a 10 because I feel like, I feel like the reason that they crease so much is because I wear 10 and a half. I think if I wore a 10, they wouldn't crease as much. So we will see. If you want to do a 10, yeah. the SB going in range. Okay, what are, what are these going for? Those are going for 8 right now. 800 right now? Yeah. Wow, this is a banger shoe though, dude. The quality is crazy. Have they dropped yet or are they still... They, yeah, they dropped two weeks ago. Okay, dude, About the freaking 20, leather. 20,000 pairs. 20,000 pairs. The leather on here is crazy. I've never seen a shoe with this high of quality. And then you got it. That's insane. Yeah, insane. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, don't be don't be a lame. That's crazy. I didn't even know that was there. That's insane. Do you I have a quite I have a crazy question for you. Do you guys have the cacaos uh in a four? A four. Yeah. Four kids? Yeah. Four kids of five and a half. I guess it would be four I guess it would be four and kids, right? Yeah, it has to be four and kids. That's a five and a half women. Okay. So yeah, my, my wife has a really, really small foot, so I'm trying to trying to get some for her but i don't know if you guys have that low in the size <laughs> got the supreme air force ones over here all the colors but i miss the kobe's guys i forgot to show you guys the kobe's basket basketball shoe of all time i think best basketball shoe of all time and then some more new balances over here i didn't even maybe i should get some shoes for halloween i don't know i don't know i definitely do want to pick something up i just don't know what maybe like a new hoodie i just don't like this color of the black no not in her size it's all good all right, so they don't have, they don't have her size. They got the shoes that I have on right now, though. Got these earlier. Love them. I'm actually wearing them right now. It's a new day. Boom. They look like the pandas. Yo, what? It's the Stone Island. Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. I honestly don't think I could pull this off, bro. I don't think I'd be able to pull this off. I feel like you got to be a true man of art to uh, pull that off, dude. Maybe a little bit older. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I do like, I mean, the new running shoes are pretty cool, but like, yeah, you just gotta, I'm being, I'm trying to be careful with all these because I don't want to be seen like an old man to, to my fans, you know what I mean? They're in middle school. <laughs> new, balance, new Balances and Asics right now, the two hottest brands. The two hottest brands, yeah. really? Shoes, yeah. Fire, dude. Really cool store. I didn't see anything in there that I really, really wanted, like I had to have, but I did want to get Beth the Cocos. Uh, cacao if you will, but they did not have her size It's really hard to find her size because she has a really small foot But we're gonna keep shopping in this mall and see if there's any other sneaker stores here They do have a Foot Locker in here that might be worth checking out if there's anything sitting on the shelves Foot Locker is cool, but they have a house of hoops, which is more likely to have the heat over here Super dope in here The new Jason Tatum's in here. I don't think I've seen these in person yet the new Jason Tatum basketball sneaker. That's pretty cool. It's a very nice sneaker. Very clean. Is it like above? Like it still looks like it's floating. There's like space in there. A lot of Jays sitting in here. A lot of Jordans just sitting in here. The Cardinals. Banger shoe right here for sure. Absolute banger of a shoe. Love those. The Citrus 7s. The 8s. They got a lot of heat in here just hanging out. These 7s too. These dropped a while back. They're still in here. Just hanging out. And then we got the Aqua 8s, of course. We saw these at the Nike store earlier. It's crazy to me that Jordans is just kind of hang out now. Back in the day, I feel like they all like would go crazy. I guess it's the colorways, though. Not too sure. The Maroon 5s. Saw these. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff sitting. I feel like if it's a Jordan, one, three, four, they're sold out instantly, but if it's above a four, they're gonna just sit because none of y'all want them. Just one, three, four, dunk. That's it. Four Air Force, maybe, maybe. This sneaker store is in a parking garage. It's kind of secret, but I'm gonna show you guys how cool it is.
crazy thing about this store is they have an ice cream bar literally outside of the store. It's absolutely insane. So you can choose your bowl. Wait, can you get, is it, is it like, is it like milkshakes or is it like, or is it like cereal? LeBron James has his own. LeBron James has, that is fire. That's so sick. Crazy. Ice cream bar back here. It's so crazy. So crazy. Yo, trick or treats. That's fire. They got the merch out here too. The Kith Halloween merch. Okay, in the hoodies. Pretty fire. I like that. That's dope. So sick. This store is so crazy, bro. So, there's a sneaker store in there that we can't film, but they said we can film the treats, which is really cool. So, the ice cream part we can film. They got all the shoes up here and the decoration. There's all kinds of. Oh, there's Jordan 6s all up in there. That's crazy, guys. It's like ice cream with cereal because you get the ice cream and then you choose a cereal to put in it So we're getting like a vanilla with the with the cereal in it, which is really cool She's putting the ice cream in there, and then she's gonna mix it with the cereal. We chose Cocoa Puffs What do we choose? Cocoa Puffs and Cocoa Puffs and Brownie Bites. Cocoa Puffs and Brownie Bites So we got the ice cream in there, and then you swirl it up just like that And then I guess you add the cereal at the end. Oh, that was quick. That was a really quick swirl Oh, she's adding the cereal now boys. She's adding the cereal this is crazy. Bites. And the brownie bites in there. Let's go. Let's go. That's crazy. Keep in mind, this is literally in a sneaker store. Yeah. It's crazy. Awesome. All right. Like my favorite. They do it to uh, all of them. We had one. Yeah, in yeah. Tokyo. We've been at the one in Japan, if you guys have been it's watching for so like five years. Good. But this is the one in LA, which is pretty crazy. Yo. Look at it go. Let's go. Shout out to Kith, man. Shout out to Kith. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. There we go. Show them, show them, show them. The kit treats with the ice cream and the chocolate in there, boys. You've never been to a sneaker store with the ice cream. That's crazy. Try it out, babe. Try it out. Let us know. Let us know. Let the people know. Let's see. It first taste. Good. First look. First look. Oh, what do you think? Absolute banger? In a sneaker store, you get ice cream after, boys. First ever. Let me try it. Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Good. The cereal mixes in. It's amazing. Great. Fact Street right here that we're on right now. There's a bunch of sneaker shops that I could definitely come to later on, but we are heading to a shopping center called The Grove right down the street. Welcome. Okay, so this is The Grove. It is the nicest shopping center out here. All kinds of fashionable stores and the coolest Apple store ever, but there is something that I want to show you guys. It's right behind over there. But that apple is crazy. This right here, boys, this right here, biggest Nike store I have ever been to. Not one, not two, but three stories tall. Look at how big this building is at the end of the shopping center. We're about to check it out and see if we get lucky today. The Sabrina one? Okay, okay. I don't know if I'd rock, but pretty sick that she got her own shoe. Absolute fire. Great job, Sabrina. We got this whole setup right here for it too. Lots of basketballs, the merch. Bro, this is sick. So dope. Look at all those white basketballs up there. And kind of cold, might have to get some fleece swag, bro, with the shorts. Okay, the green color, maybe. Oh, dude, the Hello Kitty Prestos. <laughs> Yo, these are low key heat, I don't know. Some guy that used to work at the gym used to have these. There's like fur inside too. These are low key kind of dope, I like the color. The Hello Kitty's kind of crazy, but the color, these are kind of crazy too. These are like a take at the Yeezys, bro. These are nice That's colors. fire. Oh, these are dope dunks. They're like a weird color blue that I've never seen before. Dude, for only 110. I don't know if I could wear anything with this though. I already have some UNC dunks, so this is kind of too close. They got a bunch of dope dunks over here. Like some army ones, the green highs. Okay, 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 I see you. Something for Christmas? Something to wear during the Christmas? All right, boys. We got ourselves, ooh, bro, these are like sexy looking. They remind me of like Halloween for sure, but like, dude, it's like a tan on the black. If the laces were a different color, I don't know, maybe the laces look good like they are, but sometimes you get lucky, bro, and you see drops. I've seen these come into style lately too. They're like coming in hot, bro, like into style big time. I would rock them. I'm all about comfort, so I might have to get myself a pair. It just looks like a dad sneaker. That's the only thing. It just looks like a dad sneaker. Like a seafoam? Seafoam dunk? 
absolute heat. More of like a girl shoe though, I think. Always got your forces. Always got the forces. West Indies. Okay. All right. Okay. You're kind of fire. Sunset colorway. Nice. All right, y'all. Going up the elevator. Here we go. Yo, this store is so big. They got a freaking elevator, bro. Crazy. Only in LA, baby. Only in LA. Here we go. Two men's, two men's, three women, and kids. So we're going to number two now. See what heat they got. The coolest part, I think, about having a Nike store here in LA is that I get so much Lakers gear, bro. The LeBrons that just dropped. These are hella fire, bro. Like, I feel like you could wear these, like, on a day-to-day. -day. They're, like, so luxurious. I think this is a fire drop from LeBron, bro. I think it's honestly fire. The Lakers beanie? That's sick. The James jersey's got lots of those. You guys know I wear that all the time. Giannis, my guy, I love you, but your merch has got to get better, bro. Like, I would not wear that with the... I don't know, Giannis. I feel like you got to get some hot merch, bro. Come on. Basketball shoes, we got lots of LeBron's boys. And this one right here specifically catches my eye every time because it reminds me of like the Texas Longhorns, which you guys know, I'm a Texas boy at heart. So the leather, super good quality. The burnt orange right there, Longhorn. Dude, super crazy. If LeBron James went to high school there, like KD, that'd be sick. Uh, but all the LeBrons. And then over here, we got the Jordans, y'all. The Maroon 5 sitting here still? What are these doing here, bro? These are sick. I think these are absolute fire. I'm just not a big wearer of fives. The blue colorway on these lows is super hot. This is so dope. I like these. I like these a lot. And then what else? They got some more ones over here. They got the aqua sixes. These are really cool too. Kind of kind of aqua colorway that used to be super hot back in the day. It's kind of like, like a rough suede almost. I don't even know what kind of material that is, but it's sick. They got the 12s. And these ones, the color is amazing on these as well. The color's super fire on these. Dope. Sevens. Of course, they got lots of like Ram stuff. Of course. Of course. And dude, it's like super big in here. I just wanted to show you guys like, this is crazy. Like this is literally where I live now. It's insane. Yay, Los Dodgers, baby. I've been wanting this for a while, but it keeps going. There's so much more over here. Uh, but most of this is like running and like more like equipment stuff. So I know you guys don't want to see running shoes. You guys want to see the heat. So thank you, Nike. Super dope being in here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Let's move on. Actually, before I leave, boys, I know a lot of you guys are really young. So I'm going to show you guys if they have heat in here. What is this jersey? Yo, okay, okay. Laker colorway. Heat, any heat, boys, any heat. They got the Jaw Morants, which is actually fire. This is like one of my favorite hooping shoes other than Kobe's. The John Morants are actually fire in here. We also got these all red sixes still sitting in here. Uh, and we also got the eights, which are super dope. Just sitting in here, Jordan eights, just sitting out here, hanging out in the kids section. Got all the kids shoes all over here. Let's check out the women's now. Right in the women's section, boys. Let's see real quick, do a real quick stroll. See if we can come up. Air Maxes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that's a fire color, dude. Look at that color. Oh, my gosh. Mammy Heat vibes? Okay. All right. Some pandas in here? These are like a form of the... Oh, they're actual have pandas here. Actual pandas sitting in here. 110. Nobody better be, like, paying over because, bro, they're, like, just hanging out in here. The panda highs, too. And the freaking, like, super dope, like, spin on them, too. Which is cool. These are like a ribbon shoe. That's crazy. Look at that. That is insane. Actually, so far, some twos in here. Some Jordan twos in here in like a blue and white color. Not a huge fan of the twos, but, you know, they're still sick. I, th I still respect them, you know. Dude, those are crazy. Futuristic slides. What in the world, bro? Super dope. Anyways, yeah, super good. Pandas, if anything, was the gem that we found on the women's section. And these are cool dunks, too. I like the flowers. So much for watching the sneaker vlog. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see y'all guys next week for another sneaker vlog.